Good morning, Liberty North. Today is Wednesday, September 17th, 2014. You know what that means, Abby? I sure do, Alberta. It means we have the latest edition of World News Wednesday for you guys, as well as the latest Spotlight story. And we also have all the usual news and announcements for you guys as well. Alina, I know that the weather's been gradually cooling down. What do you have on that for us today? Um, I have today's forecast and tomorrow's football game. It's going to be a windy week. And I've also got a look at the latest from our varsity girls tennis and softball teams, as well as both cross-country teams, and a look at the upcoming football game. All right. Well, we've got a lot to cover in a little amount of time, so let's go ahead and get started. Your net news starts now. now. Let's start off with some announcements. There will be an informational meeting about joining the Future Educators Association during Eagle Hour on Friday, September 19th in room 815. Please contact Ms. Taylor if you have any questions. Do you have ideas worth sharing? Do you like hearing about great ideas? The TED Ed Club is the place for you. This group of problem solvers, critical thinkers, and innovators is out to make the world a better place. The first meeting is Monday, September 22nd during Eagle Hour in LV6. You can see Ms. Lynn for more information. As most of you probably know, next week is homecoming week, and spirit days are as follows. Monday, meet the fleet, so wear red, white, and blue. Tuesday is take to see, so come to school, decked out in all your nautical or boating attire. Wednesday is walk the plank, so come to school, sporting your pirate attire or blackout. Thursday is a day in paradise, so wear all of your tropical attire. And Friday is a sea of navy, so come to school in your homecoming t-shirt or wear navy. Alberta, I know I'm going to be dressing up. What about you? I definitely will, Abby. And students, if you have not signed your electronic AUP and handbook, your accounts will be disabled today until you do so. If this applies to you, please visit the LMC so that you can sign the electronic handbook. Also, registration for the PSAT is now open. We encourage all sophomores and juniors to sign up for the test. The cost is $21, and to sign up, all you need to do is bring your payment to Mrs. Stark in the Counseling Center, and she will get you on the list. The test is here Saturday, October 18th. That's all the announcements we've got for today. Let's send it over to Peyton Lynn with the latest Spotlight segment. I started break dancing. Thank you, Peyton. Now let's go ahead and send it over to Sarah Philpot with this week's edition of World News Wednesday. Thanks, Abby. There has been speeches and debates and both sides have voiced their opinion. The result being whether or not Scotland breaks away from the UK becoming an independent country. And tomorrow, Thursday, September 18th, the voters will decide whether Scotland continues its union with England. The Acts of the Union between Scotland and England were passed in 1706, taking effect on May 1st, 1707. On that day, the Parliament of Great Britain was formed. Currently standing, the polls are predicted to come out as 54% wanting the independence and 46% not wanting to break away from the UK. That's all I've got for your World News Wednesdays. Stephen, I know there's been a lot of happening in sports since Monday. Can you catch us up on that? 
Absolutely, Sarah. Yesterday, the varsity girls tennis team defeated William Christmas 7-2, with the following players having won their singles matches. Madeline Kretzinger, Holly Hawkins, Paige Garrison, Jenna Pennington, Abby Doherty, Abby Brown, Sullivan Nevins, Zoe Darnell, Madison Hunter, and Daphne Sully. And the following doubles teams also won their matches. Madeline Kretzinger with Holly Hawkins, Paige Garrison and Abby Doherty, Jordan Happabeer with Sarah Brewer, Kristen Johnson and Addie Brown, S Sullivan Nevins with Madison Hunter, Emily Philpot and Maddie Contreras, and Savannah Hushig with Emma Haley. Congratulations, girls. Also, the Eagles softball team improved to 12-3 on the season after defeating North Kansas City by a score of 15-0 Monday night. Destiny Ojigo threw a perfect game and struck out seven of the nine batters she faced. The Eagles also faced the William Prisman Bears 2-0 on yesterday afternoon to move to 13-3 overall and 5-1 and in conference this year. Olivia Prather struck out nine batters, earning her ninth win on the season and her sixth shutout. They hope to continue their winning ways on Thursday when they travel to face conference opponent Oak Park. Also, the Liberty North Cross Country teams traveled to St. Louis this past weekend to compete in the Forest Park Invitational, which is one of the biggest meets in the Midwest. The varsity girls team took 19th out of 33 in the Green Division. They were led by sophomore Kelsey Cox and senior Stephanie Bones, both finishing in the top 50. Annalyn Blackwell was 102nd, Jesse Brown took 132nd, and Lexi Nardina came in at 139th. Asma Hassan and Lily Searn also competed in the race with over 250 other athletes. The varsity boys team took 17th out of 36 teams in the difficult green division. They were led by the strong pack of Dylan McCloskey, 78th, Brandon Drew, 80th, and Luke Cornell, 91st. Joe Barry and Reed Walters rounded out the scoring for the Eagles, and Robert Trout and Sam Fisher also competed in the race with almost 300 other athletes. The Eagles will compete again this coming Saturday at the Blue Springs Invitational at Lake Chicomo. Good luck to the boys. Don't forget to come out and support your Eagles, the volleyball team. We'll be taking on the Smithville Warriors tonight in the Fieldhouse. JV starts at 5.30 and Varsity gets ready to kill it at 6.30. Also, the men's swim and dive team took on St. Joe's Central for their first home meet of the season last night, defeating the Indians 198-88 to while falling, sh falling short to LHS 144-167. to Overall event w winners were Mitchell Severe in the 100 fly, Max Meyer in the 100 free, Ryan Sprugel in the 500 free, and Ben Matz in the 100 back. Also, the medley relay of Matz, Joey Trout, Sprugel, and Christian Von Drong took first. The Eagles are now 8-2 and two in dual meets. Also tomorrow night is the first Thursday football game of the year. The guys will be taking on the Grandview Bulldogs at William Jewell starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Speaking of the game tomorrow night, Alino, what will the weather be looking like for the first Thursday game of the year? Well, Stephen, I'll get to that in just a little bit, but right now you might have noticed a slight sprinkle as you guys came into school this morning. Lucky for all of us, it won't be sticking around for too long with a high near 77 degrees. There's a slight chance for rain, but we might just able, be able to stroll right through the day without any thunderstorms. Tonight, there is a chance for a few moments of rainfall with the skies mostly cloudy and a low of 61 degrees and breezy air. Thursday afternoon, we're looking at a very windy day with mostly sunny skies and a high temperature of 75 degrees. Thursday night, it may be time to pull out those jackets for tomorrow's game when we support our football boys because we might feel some windy weather and partly cloudy skies and a low of 64 degrees. That's all I have for you today, Eagles, Abby, Alberta, and Steven. Back to you. Thanks, Selena. We hope you guys enjoyed the show today. Don't forget, if you guys have, a, have anything you want to see on the broadcast, you can tweet us at knet underscore news or just check it out for some on-air possibilities coming up later this year. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow with a couple of football players in studio for an interview about tomorrow night's game. But until then, catch we'll you catch on, you on the north side. side. <laughs>